was one classical man, the pianist with the hair. Heartthrob and multifaceted crossover artist Franz Liszt covered almost all aspects of life and career during his 75 years on planet Earth. Pianist, composer, conductor, teacher, arranger, organist, writer, philanthropist, and Franciscan monk? You see, Adzo, the step between ecstatic vision and sinful frenzy is all too brief. A child prodigy in his own right, it is not until seeing a concert of violin superstar Paganini that he decides to change the rules of the piano game. Setting the path for how things are done today, he's the first to rock onto the stage from the wings, turn the piano at a right angle to the audience, and something piano students are particularly happy about today, play the entire show from memory. My everyday memory is not something I get paid to use. Liszt was sometimes mocked in the press for his facial expressions and extravagant liberties that he could take with the text of a score. Long before Beatlemania, there was Listomania. It is rumored that during his performances, women ripped off their clothes. You mean his clothes. And through diamonds and jewelry items. Here at One Classical Minute, we accept all major credit cards. Except American Express. Though he never makes it big in New York, or gets to Carnegie Hall, or even a simple review in the New York Times. He gets around a lot and never misses a chance to practice. Here's his Tarantella, written during a stay in Italy. Legend has it that if bitten by a tarantula, dancing to this frenetic rhythm makes you sweat out the poison. List, of course, just used it for cardio. <laughs> 